Hi everyone, welcome to Unacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today I'm going to tell you about the top 60 topics of biology. I know you people already know about the topics of physics, about the topics of chemistry. Now it's the time for the biology. See, biology makes 50% of your NEET syllabus and I know if you want to qualify the NEET exam, you should have a very good hold in biology. But sometimes, you know, some students, they start late or they are not so good in biology. They want some topics that they can revise very quickly so that they can increase their marks in the paper. So today we are going to discuss that. And before starting it, I would like to thank you all for all your love, for all your support. Thank you so much and keep supporting our channel. And if you're new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Now, Let's come to these topics. So the very first topic is the cell division. It's a very important topic whether it is mitosis or meiosis. Question will definitely come from this particular topic. And if you understand cell division properly, the gametogenesis topic, whether it is spermatogenesis or it is oogenesis, everything is going to be very easy for you. Then comes the hormones. Hormones from repro means hormones from the chapter reproduction. See. In reproduction for the gametogenesis, hormones are required. Even for the pregnancy, for the parturition, lactation, role of hormone is there. So you should study that part. You should revise that part because definitely question will come from that particular part. Then comes the human genome project. Again, a very important topic. And yes, you just need to read the points from the NCRT only. Then comes the microbes. Microbes which are important in sewage treatment. Microbes from where, you know, uh, we used to get important products like some immuno suppressants, bioactive, everything you need to revise because you can check any of the need exam, any of the need paper, you will definitely get question from this particular part. Then comes the light reaction and dark reaction. If you are not so good in plant physiology, there are certain topics that you people should revise. So if you will read light reaction and dark reaction, you should focus uh, on their site of occurrence, you should focus on the products that they form. Okay. Then comes the C3, C4 cycle, the differences in these two, then the examples of C3, C4 plants and even the leaf anatomy of the C3 plants and the C4 plants. Then come to the PCR, polymerase chain reaction, a very easy and obviously an important topic. Then comes the gel electrophoresis, Bt toxin how that BD toxin is going to destroy that particular uh, insect or even the plants, you know, different, different BT plants you should study, you should revise. Then from ecology, population interaction, very easy and a simple topic it is. Evolution of man is important. hardy wingwar equilibrium is important. Along with this hardy wingwar equilibrium, you should even revise genetic drift, okay? Then comes the homologous and the analogous organ, a very, very favorite question of the examiner. Even in the CBSC board exams, even in the NEET, you will get question from this particular part. And yes, I hope you remember this because I always use this trick, HDAC, homologous, divergent, analogous, convergent, right? Then comes the causes of biodiversity loss, a very direct topic. And again here, the trick is there, HOAC habitat loss and fragmentation and all, okay? So do revise these topics. Then, DNA fingerprinting, important. Ecological succession from chapter ecosystem is again important and it is easy as well. Then comes the recombinant DNA technology, the mechanism, okay? The processes you should know, the enzymes you should know, it is important. Then comes the mechanism of muscle contraction. This topic is, fro is from locomotion and yes, this topic is very important. And tomorrow at 11 a.m., I'm going to take a marathon on human physiology and I'll be teaching all these important topics written here, okay? So stay tuned. Then comes the algae. From the plant kingdom, the algae part, the table, and even the life cycles of the plant, they are important. Then comes the digestion. From digestion, you need to focus on the digestion of the different, different substrates. The enzymes used for carbohydrates, for protein, for fats like this. Then disorders of human physiology. And for disorders, just revise NCRT. Just revise NCRT. One or two disorders will definitely be there in the final NEET exam. So do revise them and only from the NCRT. Then comes the enzymes from the biomolecule chapter. Just read the enzymes, all that prosthetic group, cofactor, the mechanism, that's all. Enzyme part is very important from the chapter biomolecules. Then the differences in photosystem 1 and photosystem 2, the cyclic and the non-cyclic photophosphorylation, again from photosynthesis, chemiosmotic hypothesis is important. You people should know the, about the flow of that electrons, right? You should know about the ATP synthase as well. Okay, then comes the plant hormones. 
definitely a question will come from plant hormones about the oxygen gibberell and any question can come from this part then the transport of gases from human physiology growth rate in the case of plants arithmetic uh, geometric then the secondary growth from anatomy of flowering plants from sexual reproduction in flowering plants apomixis polyembryony along with that development of male and female gametophyte is very important you should not leave these two these uh, topics then comes the nerve impulse conduction again a very important topic urine formation from excretory products mechanism of hormonal action students this topic mechanism of hormonal action is very 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 important no doubt in this chapter in the uh, in this particular chapter other hormones are also important but 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 above all this topic is the most important topic you are not allowed to leave this topic okay right so if you will revise this topic you will get to know which hormones are having their receptor inside the nucleus or on the plasma membrane so just go for this particular topic then the nodal tissue if you will understand nodal tissue the cardiac cycle will be very easy for you from the transport part active passive transport difference that table given in ncrt is important blood clotting the complete cascade is important about the blood groups in case of blood groups even from genetics also you can revise the blood groups where there is co dominance and about that dominant uh, recessive relationship you should go for it even the multiple allelism well apart you should go for it right then comes the ecg muscles the type of different different muscles the comparison you should know bioreactors operon very important operon then genetic disorder two questions will come from this particular part from human health and disease drugs this part is important two questions will come from this particular part and immunity active passive immunity the difference specific non specific immunity the difference then different type of antibodies assisted reproductive technology from reproductive health contraceptive methods from reproductive health right from morphology obviously examples they are important so soon i'll share some tricks to remember these examples as well don't you people worry then comes the animal kingdom from animal kingdom if you understand basis of classification and the name of the phylum you'll be able to solve one or two questions from this particular chapter then comes the rq value rq value is a very easy topic you just need to devote your 2 to 3 minutes to understand this then comes the mechanism of breathing the capacity from the same chapter nerve impulse conduction we have already discussed ecological pyramids yes they are important ecological pyramids are also important population growth curve from organism and population is important tissue culture and moet multiple ovulation embryo transfer technology important biological nitrogen fixation dna structure in dna structure you should know about the purines about the pyrimidines everything about nitrogenous base sugar everything you people should know right a uh, definitely a question will come from this part so same way mutations and the sex determination so these are the top 60 topics it is not 62 because i have repeated one topic as well na so near about 60 so you just need to remember that that these 60 topics are the one that you are not allowed to leave because most of the time you know if you will check previous year paper questions used to come from this particular part in one way or another way and you can go for the pyqs of these topics okay for such videos stay tuned do subscribe our channel and do let me know in the comment section if you have any problem in any of the topics that i have mentioned here i'll make a separate video for that i'll share that video with you guys before your neat exam stay tuned thank you so much everyone